Hi, my name is Julia, and I worked with Sammy and Sahithia to make this video as our Silver Award project. We had a bunch of ideas planned, like going to different places and making dog toys out of t-shirts and tennis balls that we had donated to us, and we had a ton of events to make these toys, but... That's when COVID hit. We had to change our entire plan. But we were still able to do a skit, interview someone from Mount Pleasant Animal Shelter, safely of course, and make some posters that took way too long to make. Make sure to stay till the end to see our mini collaboration with other people who support Adopt Don't Shop and our bloopers. You're probably getting tired of me talking now, so here's Sammy's interview with Jag from Mount Pleasant Animal Shelter. Why do you help at the animal shelter? Because I love dogs, but I can't have any of my own. Because um, I live with my mom. She can't live by herself. And she's terrified of all animals. So I get to play with dogs all the time. And it makes me feel good and it makes the dogs feel good. How do the dogs... How do the dogs feel when they see you? The the ones that know me get very excited. They you know they definitely learn to recognize the volunteers. Um, sometimes when they when I meet them for the first time, they're kind of nervous and scared because they're in a scary environment. Um, but they usually warm up pretty quick. I can relate to that dog. <laughs> uh, you already kind of answered that one. Do you have any animals of your own? No, nope. you already answered that. Uh, what can younger people do to help? Um, so at my shelter, they're not allowed to do anything directly with the animals, um, but you can help out by kind of helping cleaning, doing laundry, washing dishes. Um, there's a lot of, like, office paperwork stuff that some, some kids I see help in, like, filing papers and organizing stuff in the office. And how old do you have to be for that? Um, I think it's different different places, but at my shelter, um, you have to be 14. And how old do you have to be to work with the animals? Like 18. Uh, does your shelter kill animals? The only time a, an animal would get killed is if um, it's because it's really sick. Um, you know, like the way somebody would put their own pet to sleep, that kind of situation. And do you know what your shelter does with them if they do die? I don't know. Uh, why do you do it? Um, I just, I love the animals. Do you know the pros of, like, adopting animals and volunteering? I think adopting is better than buying because there's just so many animals out there that need homes. Um, most of our dogs come from down south. Um, they just tend to kind of think of dogs differently people like love their dogs like part of their family up here in the south they kind of think of them more as like possessions um a lot of them will be like used for hunting and then if they're not good at hunting they just kind of abandon them or they'll use them for breeding and then once they've had a couple litters it's you know they're not any use to them anymore and they again just kind of abandon them on the side of a road um, so they come up here and then they get loving homes where if they stay down there, the shelters are so overrun that they actually do have to kill the animals um, just because they have nowhere to keep them. Why do you think people should volunteer at your shelter or any shelter in that case? I think if if you're an animal lover, it's just a really good way to interact with the animals. Um, even if you have animals of your own, these are animals that are stuck in a kennel almost all day long. The staff does, you know, walk them and tries to play with them, but they're busy. They, they have jobs to do. Um, you know, even if it's just a matter of working with the people that are there to adopt, you know, that's time away from playing with one of the dogs. So most of the time that they get outside of the kennel is because of volunteers. How do you feel when you're working with the animals? Great. If um, if I have like a really bad day at work or, you know, something stressful is going on in my personal life, that going to the shelter always makes me feel better. 
How does it make you feel seeing like a lot of dogs in the shelters? It's, I, when I started going, I thought it would bother me a lot more than it does. Um, I do feel bad. Occasionally there's a dog that's there a really long time and I do feel bad for those dogs. Um, but at the same time, those dogs get to know the volunteers. They love everybody. They get a lot of attention from the volunteers because they've been there so long. Um, so, you know, in a way they get more attention just because they've been there so long, but I do feel bad because I think every dog deserves to have a loving home. You know, they shouldn't have to sleep in a cold, not cold, but you know, it's, it's a, it's basically a cage, you know, it's, it's much bigger than a typical dog cage, but it's still kind of being stuck in a small little area, the majority of your life, which is no fun. And are, will, will you ever adopt in the future? Uh, I think so. I mean, if, um, you know, if I'm not staying with my mom, I think I would definitely adopt. If I was to get a dog, it would, I would definitely adopt. I wouldn't buy. Thank you. Yep. So some of the other things, when I volunteer, pretty much the only thing I do is the dog walking, which means... You know, I take them out of their kennel. I take them for a walk so they can go to the bathroom. And then they have um, these fenced-in yard areas. And I'll take them in the yard, and they have toys. And, you know, we'll play fetch, or some of the dogs aren't really interested in the toys. So, you know, it just gives them a chance to kind of run free for a while. Um, and that's what I like to do. But other people can do some other stuff. There's, They have cats at the shelter, which I am allergic to cats. Yeah. So, yeah, so I don't go over to that side um but people go over and play with the cats obviously you don't take them outside but um you know you can hold the ones that are like in a cage they have the what they call catteries and there are these rooms where cats that get along with other cats are free to roam around the room you know they have like those cat towers for them to play with the tons of beds all over the room um just so that they're not stuck in a really small cage um, some of the cats are in cages if they don't get along with other cats. Um, so the volunteers sometimes, you know, will take a cat out of the cage and just kind of hold it in like a small room or something to give it a, some human interaction. Um, some of the volunteers do um, the same thing that I said the kids are able to do, like help with laundry and cleaning and dishes. Um, one of my friends that I met there... He's an older gentleman, and almost every single weekend, he does he helps with adoption events. So, the shelter works with some pet stores like PetSmart and Pet Value, and they'll set up a table inside the store, and they will either bring like a dog or a couple of cats over and actually have them at the store. And my friend Rich, um, he's been volunteering at the shelter. I want to say definitely over 10 years, I think maybe 15 years. So he knows a lot about the whole adoption process. He knows about the shelter. Um, and he kind of acts as uh, like a representative of the shelter. He answers questions. And then the hope is because they have the actual animals there that, you know, that particular dog, somebody will see him and fall in love and then actually adopt him. Same thing with the cats that they bring there. Ash, I do have a few more questions for you. I just thought of them. No problem. Is there any other animals there other than dogs and cats? Not at my shelter. That's all they, they take. I know other shelters, you know, sometimes will take other animals. I saw, um, I forget what shelter it was, but I saw something online that they had rescued guinea pigs. How often do you work at the shelter? So before COVID, I usually went... Um, after work, they had late evening hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I went there after work. Um, but since COVID, they were closed to volunteers for a while. And since they reopened, they're only open till 4 p.m. So I, excuse me, I work till 5, sometimes later. So I, I never get there during the week unless I have a day off. So um, you work during the weekends? Yeah. So I go almost every single weekend. And do you think it's better to volunteer or work there? Um, I, I think volunteering because you have more time to just be directly with the animals. You know, 
the people that work there, like I said, they, they do walk the dogs, they do play with them when they have time, but you have a lot of other responsibilities. So, you know, you got to do your job just like any job. Um, you know, I don't think it's a bad place to work if you needed a job. Um, I just, you know, I have a, another job and I like to do this in my free time. What do you, what do you think about the catchphrase, adopt, don't shop? Uh, I think it's cute. I've heard it before. Um, I think, I think I've seen my shelter use it. It's nice and simple and to the point. Would you ever tell anybody that? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for your time, Jag. See you later. Bye. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to Jag for participating in our video. All the dogs shown are currently up for adoption at Mount Pleasant Animal Shelter. Now, here's our skit about adopting and not shopping. Oh, these dogs are so cute. I really want one. You know, I know a really great breeder. He keeps the dogs in cages, so we might as well just save them, right? You know what? You're right. Let's go right now. This is the place. They're leaving that dog outside and it has a pipe cleaner around its neck. Well, maybe we're just assuming things. Let's give it a chance. That dog is eating leaves. Oh, yeah, just like the dogs who eat stones until this summer. Who is this guy, anyway? Randy? Who's there? Hi, ladies. I'm Randy. Everybody calls me Crazy Randy. You hear about the dog? I need some water here. Alright. This, this, this one's one of them, them plot hounds from, from South Carolina. He, he's $4,100. $4,100. You gotta pay the big fees and you gotta pay the taxes too. So it's just called 5000 even. Great dog. He's been here for about six months now. So what do you say? You, this, this, there ain't no petting zoo. You, you come down and you're not playing with these animals. You better come down here and lie. That water is disgusting. That water's good. That's protein. It's good for the dogs. Ew. If, if, if you girls ain't buying, then get off my property. Whoa, 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 you guys. This isn't the right place to get a dog from, especially from Crazy Randy. Did you know most of the dogs are mistreated and abused and killed by breeders? By buying from breeders, we're just encouraging them to breed more and then abusing them. Let's go. I'm going to take you to a more humane place. Where are you going? Why are you wasting my time? Come back here. I'm my paying customer. Where are you going? Okay, this is the animal shelter. <coughs> What's the difference? The difference is animal shelters taking dogs that are in need and put them up for adoption and readers should breed themselves. So we should help out animals in need instead of being specific about what kind we want? Yes, every dog deserves a loving home. Hello there, my name is Sandy. Welcome to the animal shelter. Hi. Hi. Let me show you around. Okay. This one we found today, he was running around with just a pipe cleaner on his neck. Hey, that's the dog from Crazy Randy. Crazy Randy? <coughs> yes, he gave the dog uh, dirty water and called it protein. Oh. That's terrible. Well, at least he escaped that terrible man. Since we're here, can we adopt him? He deserves a good home. He first needs to be checked out, and then in a couple of days, we'll be ready to release him, and then you can. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to go look at other dogs? Wendy, she already picked her favorite. It would be useless. He's so cute! Well, you can always come back when he's ready and taken. He's not ready yet. Oh, fine. I think it's time to go. I promise, honey, in a couple of days. No! Don't Thank forget you. about me! Thank you, bye. Don't forget about you. I love you. Do you guys see the difference between breeders and shelters? Yep. The animal shelters take in animals and need and care for them. And breeders usually breed them on their own, and they usually don't do a great job about it. They don't treat them right. I 
never want to see a breeder again. I want to help animals. Don't worry, you don't have to. You can donate food and other supplies to your animal shelters. Look at, look here. Here are toys that I'm working on to donate. Ooh. Looks like you're never too old to learn something new. Right again, and if you want to help your local shelter, see what they need. Check out their website. And remember, a, a dog, dog film don't shop. shop. You have no idea how fun that was to make. As I said before, we made some posters. Sammy chose to make hers about puppy mills. Sahithya chose to focus on adopting versus buying and the mistreatment of animals. And I chose to bring awareness to East Coast Canine Rescue. So here they are. Okay. The bodies of dead animals from the um, shelters are frozen and then sent to local landfills. Around 3.2 million animals from shelters are adopted each year. Around 6.5 million animals go into shelters each year. Around 1.5 million animals die in shelters each year. And these are the options for when people who decide to get a dog or a cat. Animal shelter slash humane society, 23% for dogs and 31% for cats. Friends slash relatives, 20% for dogs and 28% for cats. Breeder, 34% for dogs and 3% for cats. Stray, 6% for dogs and 27% for cats. Private party, 12% for dogs and 6% for cats. And other, 32% for dogs and 39% for cats. So for my poster, I did two, and this is my first one that I made. I decided to write, adopt an animal, save a life, because when you adopt an animal from a proper shelter, you are saving a life instead of getting one from breeders that just don't care about their animals. And this is a good place to put this poster because talking about adopting goes with Sahithya's poster and then saving lives goes with Sammy's, which is next. Here are some puppy mill facts. Sadly, many puppy mill dogs will live their entire lives like this. Every year in the USA, it's estimated that 2.11 million puppies are sold that originate from puppy mills, while 3 million are killed in shelters. Female dogs are bred at every opportunity with little to no recovery time between litters. A puppy mill is a commercial dog breeding factory that's forced on increasing profit. Oftentimes, the food and water for the dogs have bugs in it. Puppies in the mills are found with bleeding or swallowing paws, feet falling through the wires, cages, and severe tooth decay and ear infections. It is estimated that there are at least 10,000 puppies in the USA, like puppy mills. Most puppy mills have no veterinarian care and no climate control. It is common to find dogs in puppy mills with their collars fastened tightly to their necks. And in most of these photos, you'll see like a dog bit another dog's neck, a dead dog, because that happens, like where the mom dies and the puppies are still in there. And there's a lot of like bleeding and stuff for the dogs. Uh, cut that tongue out. And for my second and final poster, I decided to dedicate this one to East Coast Canine Rescue because we're doing a lot with them for this project. We are putting in some of their Instagram posts and featuring them a couple times throughout the video. I decided to write, they need our help because they do. Um, and they always need donations. And if you don't know about East Coast Canine Rescue, check out their website. It's eastcoastcaninerescue.org. And I also put their, that has Instagram and Facebook to show that animal shelters also have other social media. That, so if you can't get to their website, check out their social media. Um, and if you don't live near East Coast Canine Rescue, you can always donate to your local shelter. They always need help. And now here's Sahithya explaining our original plan and all three of us showing the toys. So last year we dropped up a bunch of boxes like these at um, local schools and they donated a lot of their t-shirts and tennis balls and with that we made a bunch of dog toys which we're going to be don um, donating to animal shelters 
I'm gonna show you a few of the examples. So a few of them are like this. So they have the tennis ball cut with it in it. Um, and some people who aren't really so good at making these toys, some people made these. Um, we did get help on these. These are the kind that I like to make. I made this one. I made this one. So it has like the little twists at the bottom. Um, and this one, which I like how it came out. We also made some cat toys. I don't remember who made them. Um, so these are also made out of t-shirts. And we didn't actually get to finish all of them, but we have a whole bunch here. Uh, so now we have a whole bunch of supplies and we have to finish that. Oh, this is the one I made! <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have a whole bunch of varieties for whatever animal needs them. I also helped. I made toys like this. And I also... Oh my goodness. And I also made toys like this one. If you liked any of the toys shown, make sure to pay close attention because Sammy and Zaythea are about to show you how to make them.
I hope everyone enjoyed the video and learned something from it, especially how important the phrase adopt don't shop can be. Now, here are some people that feel the same. Hello, Merry Christmas to everyone. Don't forget, instead of shopping for a pet, adopt a pet. They need homes too and there's so many in the shelters right now that have um, been surrendered because of this pandemic. So don't forget, adopt, don't shop. 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 Adopt, not shop. Adopt, don't 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 shop. Action. I want Julia's song. Get out of my face, kid. Okay. <laughs> It's, it looks like I'm looking Word. straight at Santa. It makes Santa's face look bigger. It's like those dogs that like eat rocks when they're... It's <laughs> 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 too wordy. This is the place. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, no because fun. you're not supposed to be looking wait, at Wait, where's that dog from? So I but you yeah. East Coast. Yeah, so you can't really look at shelters because we're like thinking badly, like, you know? Like and now we like, gotta hit the clown. You know? No, hit the clown. Julia, hit the clown. Yeah. What? Hit the clown. No. Do it. I no. dare you. I dare you. No. I mean, dare you. Okay, cute okay. dog. <laughs> then catch, uh, do I'm the wow. filming all this. Yeah, just do the wow. Wow, my storage. Oh, wow. wait, wait, wait. Do the wow. Should I take a screenshot? <laughs> oh, you're already <laughs> filming? I didn't even know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, Cynthia, it's imaginary. That's not how you freaking serve. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> what an independent queen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Whoa, 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 you guys. <laughs> okay. We're testing out the dog toys. I'm using one hand, Julie. How weak are you? I'm dragging you with one hand. Make this video as our silver... Hi, my name is Julia and... But we are still able to... Do, do a skit. Do a skit. But we are still able to do a skit but I hope the main thing you take away from this... I had it right. I had it right. Uh, mm. And I'm out of Hershey's. But they're in the kitchen. Okay, this is Bella. <laughs> she doesn't really like getting picked up, but I promise she loves me. Yeah, I know. I'll put you down. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now we like to go. I said action. What? Okay, this is the animal shelter. What's the difference? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> my name is Andy. Welcome to the animal shelter. <laughs> I'm petting my dog. <laughs> Are you filming us? Mm-hmm. Here, then we need some music. Oh my god. In the party. Cynthia was concerned with copyright, so I'm talking oh, over copyright. this. Copyright. Oh, and I just wanted to put this in for no reason, so enjoy.